Want to check out Bolivia? It's this awesome country in South America jam-packed with history, cool folks, mind-blowing landscapes, wild nature, a changing economy, tricky politics, mouth-watering food, lively culture, and sports that'll fire you up. From ancient ruins to jaw-dropping views, our video is going to show you Bolivia's incredible story. So hit that subscribe button, join us, and fasten your seatbelts, because this ride is going to blow your mind and leave you feeling completely pumped. Bolivia's history is like an incredible rug woven through time. Back in the day, the place was buzzing with vibrant cultures from the Tiwanaku and Inca civilizations. Cool stuff like the Sun Gate and Tiwanaku show off their architectural skills. Then fast forward to the 16th century, BAM! Spanish conquerors show up, grabbing all the riches and throwing their rules around. This messed things up for the indigenous societies, which totally sucks, but wait, there's a hero moment. In the early 19th century, folks like Simón Bolívar and Antonio José de Sucre were like, enough of the Spanish rule nonsense. They kicked off the fight for independence. Wars, battles, and some serious revolutions, like the famous Battle of Ayacucho in 1824, were like stepping stones towards freedom. Bolivia's journey to becoming a nation wasn't a smooth ride, though. It had its share of political drama, lost territories, and inside chaos after the Independence Party. There were ups and downs. Tin wrought riches and drama, while the Chaco War and inner rebellions shaped their identity. Through all the crazy twists, Bolivia's history shows how tough its people are and how they've grown through struggles. Alright, so Bolivia's people have this really cool backstory. They're like a mixtape of ancient origins and migration stories. Back in the day, indigenous roots go way back to the Tiwanaku and Inca civilizations, and then colonial times came along with European vibes. This mashup of history gave birth to a diverse bunch of folks with all kinds of races and backgrounds. Imagine this ethnic quilt, where you've got indigenous crews like Achua, Aymara, and Guarani hanging out with Mestizo and Afro-Bolivian squads. This mix brings life to Bolivia's whole cultural scene, from old-school clothes and art to groovy music and parties. And the languages, it's like a language buffet. Spanish is the star because of the colonial days, but you've got indigenous languages like Quechua, Aymara, and Guarani, which are like time capsules, keeping traditions alive and connecting people to their roots. Bolivia's people are like a mirror of the country's super interesting history. All these different origins, languages, and backgrounds create this awesome society that's all about honoring its past while moving forward together. Now let's check out Bolivia's geography. It's like a real showstopper, with landmarks that scream, this is Bolivia. First off, you got the mind-blowing Uyuni salt flats. They're so surreal, it's like the sky's having a mirror party. And then there's the Andes Mountains, standing tall like a backbone with rocky peaks like Mount Illimani that'll leave you speechless. Now, nature's in the spotlight. The Amazon rainforest struts its stuff into Bolivia, full of crazy biodiversity. Then there's Lake Titicaca, the highest lake you can sail on. It's like a cultural superstar with the Uros people living on these floating islands made of reeds. But don't think it's all nature, man-made stuff's cool too, like the Cerro Rico silver mine in Potosi, once a big shot in empires. Bolivia's geography is like a mixtape of crazy stuff, big mountains, lush jungles, and dry deserts, and every place has its own history, painting a picture of Bolivia's past, present, and where it's headed. Dude, Bolivia's nature is like a total treasure chest, loaded with funky plants and cool creatures. So picture of this, native plants like quinoa, the superfood champ, and this rad Bolivian blue cactus that catches everyone's eye. And don't even get me started on the Amazon rainforest, it's like a green paradise where jaguars, capybaras, and these wild macaws are having a party. Up in the high spots, you've got all these tough llamas and alpacas just hanging out, and vicuñas rocking some serious elegance. Oh, and insects? There's an electric blue tarantula, plus these butterflies that shine like rainbows. And then the river scene, a pink river dolphin cruising around while the Andean condor rules the skies up in the mountains. This whole natural show is Bolivia's way of saying we're all about taking care of our awesome planet, and it's super tied to the wisdom of the local peeps. Amongst these landscapes, plants and animals team up to tell tales of surviving and adapting, turning Bolivia's nature into this magical tale of living together. Bolivia's economy functions like a huge compilation of different things. They're all about natural gas exports, mining cool minerals like tin and silver, and growing things like soybeans and quinoa. Their economy is worth around $40 billion, which sounds big, but they're still figuring out how to mix things up better. Now, talking cash, the average income isn't exactly superstar level. It's lower than the big shots, and fairness and pay is something they're working on. They're all about the Bolivian Boliviano for money, and it's always doing the cha-cha against the US dollar. Bolivia's economic journey has had its roller coaster moments, thanks to things like the prices of things they sell and what's happening inside their borders. They're doing a solid job fighting poverty, with the numbers going down. 
Their economy is on this cool adventure, trying to find new gigs for growth while making the most of their awesome resources. It's like a real tightrope walk that's writing Bolivia's money story. So Bolivia's got this whole political puzzle going on. They're dealing with stuff like inequality, ethnic tensions, and some government hiccups, all of which are shaping their journey. China and Russia are like their cool buddies, teaming up for economic adventures. Neighbors are all about trading goods and sharing resources. Here's the history nugget. Bolivia and Chile have this beef over land, making their friend status kind of rocky. The US relationship is like a roller coaster, swinging back and forth with politics and the whole drug scene. Bolivia's got this foreign policy vibe where they're all about showing they're the boss and mixing up their friends list. In the global playground, Bolivia's playing nice with countries that fit their goals, making money and keeping politics in check. They're still dealing with roadblocks, but they're like a balancing act, finding their groove between protecting their turf and getting in on the worldwide action. Bolivia's food adventure is like a crazy ride through all kinds of tasty stuff and funky traditions. It's a mix of ancient indigenous vibes and that colonial history twist, making each region bring its own flavor. So up in the highlands, they're all about these salteñas, like magic pastry pockets filled with meat, potatoes, and spices. Down in the valleys, they're vibing with chuño, these freeze-dried potatoes that have been around since forever. And don't even trip, the Amazon rainforest is in on the action with wild things like suri worms and river fish from the Amazon. Now on the coast, it's a seafood party. They're making majadito, a crazy rice and beef dish with a spice kick, mixing indigenous and Spanish styles. Oh, and cuñape, this cheesy bread, is like a superstar all over. From old-school api corn porridge to hearty sizes stews, Bolivia's food story is like a crazy quilt of landscapes and cultures, inviting your taste buds on a wild journey through flavors you won't forget. Bolivia's culture is like this big, colorful quilt made of customs, traditions, and rituals that jazz up everyday life. They go all out with festivals like Carnaval de Oruro, where it's a wild party of colors and tunes, a mix of old and new vibes thanks to indigenous and Catholic flavors. Then there's the Pachamama gig, where they show Mother Earth some love, feeling all connected to nature and stuff. Art is booming in Bolivia. Legends like painter Tito Yupanqui and weaver Maxima Laura keep old-school techniques alive. Check out these intricate textiles, ceramics, and walls, painted with more colors than a rainbow. The literary hero Jaime Sanz and music kings like Los Carcas are doing their thing too. Morenada Dance is a national gem with flashy costumes. Folk music's rocking with vibes like sicuri and cueca that whisper history. Bolivia's culture is like a mixtape of old and new traditions and cool twists. It's all about that spirit of staying strong and holding on to the roots while aiming for new heights. Bolivia's sports scene is like a big deal here, giving everyone a dose of national pride. So while Olympic medals might be playing hide-and-seek, check out cyclists like Oscar Solis and marathon champ Yolanda Aguirre. They're showing some serious global game. But hey, football is king. Fans go nuts for local teams and international showdowns. Volleyball, basketball, and all those track and field things get their share of love too. And get this, Bolivia's sports roots go back to llama racing and a game called Sapo. They were the OG athletes. They're also claiming sports like Tiro de Yungueño, a fancy mix of darts and bocce, and this legendary game called Pelota Purepecha, which feels like soccer and handball's long-lost cousin. Superstars like tennis ace Maria Fernanda Alvarez and boxing champ Marcos René Maidana are giving Bolivia a spotlight on the global stage. Bolivia's sports story is all about heritage, hard work, and the athletes who are making their country proud. By the way, they do know that Bolivia's mesmerizing Uyuni salt flats are so vast that they can be seen from space, making them the largest salt flats on the planet. If you enjoy this video, you'll love this next one.